almost forgot my gift necklace this morning. All right, welcome to Paint with Josh on Sunday's Seascapes. It's 9-11 uh, today, so we figured we'd do like a 9-11 like a tribute painting. You've already seen the thumbnail of what it's going to be. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you we have phthalo blue, bright red, alizarin crimson, midnight black, and titanium white. We've already taken Bob Ross liquid clear, covered our entire canvas, and then we wiped it off with a paper towel so it's not too wet, but it's still slick. We have a little jar of our Bob Ross liquid white for our highlights, just a little bit in a tin. A couple paper towels, a little bit of odorous, oh, odorous, odorless mineral spirits. Looks a little bit like this. You're going to need something like that in order to clean all this oil paint off of our brushes. You need the Bob Ross liquid clear in order to get these thick oil paints to move and slide across the canvas. So, if this is your first time watching a Paint With Josh video, sorry for the burps. Tell us where you're from. I drink like a whole Red Bull right before I come on camera. So tell us where you're from, what time it is, where you're watching. You know, what were you watching? Is your husband watching football? You know, or did you choose to watch Paint With Josh today? That's a cool thing. Babe, I broke the easel today too, by the way. Now it's this this little knob that's overspun somehow. Great, so I'll have to <clears> fix it with the laptop. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, and if we can't fix it, we're gonna need a new easel, guys. So go to my pay, uh, my Amazon wish list. London will post the link tree link in the comments. Go to my wish list. I've got a couple easels on there. Anything, paint, brushes, anything would be appreciated. All right, now we have our blank canvas. It's already been covered. Now let's do, let's do our red lines first, right? So we're gonna get a little bit of red, bright red, and the crimson together. Mix them on the brush. We're gonna have this dark reddish, doesn't need to be super bright, right? We're gonna come across just about, you know the flag. You know what the flag looks like. Just about halfway down, maybe a little less than halfway down for our blue square. And then just a little swipe across the top. Okay, it doesn't need to be super bright. Don't want it to be a whole lot of paint because it'll make our clouds too bright if it is a whole lot of paint. See, we can go over into our blue section, then we'll go back and cover it. We'll come up here again. Do we have any comments, babe, about where people are from? Uh, yeah, give me one second. One second. <laughs> Flip it over, pull it down again. It's happening. We've got a good amount on the brush. Come down, find our next little line where that's going to be. Leaving that dark area for our clouds. We have P715 from the UK. Uh, Troy Fazio is here. Hey, welcome, 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 everybody. Caitlin, Cheryl, Crystal. Welcome to the fans, the super fans, the super squad. If you're like, what's the super squad? The super squad is my YouTube membership where you can access all sorts of different classes. Like we did our, our practice version yesterday. I'm going to make that a members only class where it's going to zoom in and out and be all sorts of stuff. Right, we're going to get zoomed in after we load all of our colors so you guys can see all the lovely details. All right, loading our brush, going to come down, making our last little red stripe right in there, leaving large amounts for our clouds. We don't want the cloud. Holy moly, did you see that? That was really that. like a cat. And while, look how I, I caught it with the, hang on, I got to put this, uh, the, the palette down. My goodness. Woo! That's what can happen on a live show, guys. And we're really pushing on these canvases, right? To get this paint to slide across. Woo! It is 6 p.m. in rainy Northern Ireland. 6 p.m. rainy Northern Ireland. That Mike's, must be Mark Anderson watching. Yep. Mike Summer is watching, watching from Michigan. There we uh, go. Susan is watching 1 p.m. West Virginia. Apparently, there's no football there. No football there. Uh, it is 3 a.m. in Australia. 3 a.m. Who's watching at 3 a.m.? Uh, Evelyn Peatland. Man, yeah, we've lost something back here, babe, okay, on that great. thing. I don't know how to, I don't know how to fix it, but we're gonna have to be careful. I don't want to push too hard, right? It is 2 p.m. in Cape Breton. Cape Breton. All right, again, I'm gonna come back in with our bread. Now we're gonna put the palette down because now I'm scared whether it's gonna fall out again. So again, I have easels. In my Amazon wish list, if you guys could really help me out, that'd be fantastic. It's going to be our long stripe across the bottom. Just as straight as you can get it. And then remember, blend it out. It doesn't have to be so bright, right? Let's go back into the crimson more as we get down into this section. It's a little bit darker, deeper red. 
is 1 p.m. in Ohio, and apparently it's paint with Josh and football. Paint with Josh and football day. That's fantastic. All right, again into the crimson. A little bit of the red, but more crimson than anything. All right, we'll come down here for our last just evenly spaced red swipes. You guys know the shape of the flag. If you don't, it's a blue square with 13 red and white stripes. But we can't usually get all 13 into the, this little 16 by 20 inch size. So... Alex Nelson is watching from Coventry in the United Kingdom. Welcome, welcome. We're doing a 9-11 tribute. Everybody's heard about 9-11, this terrible tragedy. 21 years ago. Can you believe it? It's 9 a.m. in Alaska. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we have our red swipes across. Now we can go back in and cover with blue, but we got to get all this red off the brush. Otherwise, we'll make purple. And last time I looked, we didn't have a red, white, and purple flag. You never know. Uh, I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be we'll cool. let you know that there will be a tribute to Queen Elizabeth II next Sunday. Do we know what we're painting? Yes, I know what you're painting. Oh, okay. London knows what we're painting, so good. I hope I can do it. Of course you can do it. Okay, now let's get zoomed in real quick before I forget. Lots how many people we got watching over here? Lots of people. No. We're going to have to move just a bit on the... Not, not in the live. Loads of people in the painting that I want you to paint. Oh, yes, please. Lots <laughs> of people. I love painting people. You guys know that. Okay, we're going to get zoomed in so everybody can see nice and close Better than elephants. what we got going on over here. What about elephants? You said you love painting people. I said better than elephants. Yeah, my elephants are not that good. No, elephants are great. They're just from prehistoric times. It's a weird looking elephant. Okay, let's not get too crazy, guys. Camille says, love watching you guys. Oh, thank you, thank you. We're going to scrape up some area for us to work in. Get so many tips and amazing ideas. Always miss your life, so I'm happy I can watch today. Hey, thanks for joining today. All right, which one of these brushes had all that red on it? It was this one. We're going to switch. We're going to go into our blue. Hey, babe, is there a different kind of video coming out this Wednesday? There is. The London's voiceover video is coming out this Wednesday, so we can't wait to see your guys' versions. A little bit of black, because I don't want it to be so super bright. And you don't need to do it in oil. You can do it in pencil. You could do it in whatever, whatever you choose. Yeah, to however do. you choose to listen to London and and do the video, it's going to be great. It doesn't have to be a painting. She's right. There we go. So if you're watching on Facebook, if you could hit those emojis, try and stay away from the angry emoji. Yep. If you are tempted to hit the angry emoji, please go and find yourself another live. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that thumbs up. It does help massively. You may not think it does anything, but it really does. Uh, right to the bottom of the red line. All right, leaving everything else unpainted. Go ahead, babe. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say now. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. I, I try to... No, it's fine. I try to sneak in little things while, so people don't forget. You put a little bit too much in a certain area, take your paper towel, scrape it off. Don't cut, don't push too hard. You're going to take off all the, the liquid clear and stuff. We don't want to do that. Susan just asked if she could do it in yarn. You could 100% do it in yarn. Yeah. Julie Strop is here. Hello, Julie. Julie. Cleaning the brush, Julie. So we have our blue and red stripes. We got our favorite fans watching, all of you. All of the favorite fans. Make sure you guys share into the art groups, not just your page. Share into the groups. All the groups that I'm in, you can just as easily share in as well, and we'll just fill them all with Paint With Josh videos. Woo! Just make everybody be like, okay, fine, I'll follow Paint With Josh. Jeez. Yes. Yeah, that's the goal. Yep. All right, this looks good. It's going to be a lot different, right? It, it, it always comes out differently. Every time we do it, it comes out differently because you can't ever make the same clouds the same way each time, you know, you, you're going to have a little bit more paint or a little less paint or this or that or whatever it's going to be. That's what's going to happen. This is going to be our big giant cloud across the thing. That's going to be our ocean. That's going to be our backsplash of our wave, our crashing front, sand, <laughs> done. All right, we'll see you guys later. Have a good day. All right. Should we take a moment of silence for all the lives lost on 9-11? We really should. 2,753? Right? Yeah. Yes. That's a lot. We can't take that many moments, but we'll take all one just big moment of silence, everybody, just real quick. 
It was really a terrible what tragedy. What? What the hell was that? It was a moment of silence. Yeah, a moment is a minute. No, a minute is a minute. A moment is a moment. No, you took a deep breath. Right. It, it was a moment. Should we do a longer one? We should do a minute. Okay, one minute. A minute of silence. Okay, one minute of silence, guys. I think it's just about been a minute. Close? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, let's take our white paint. We're going to come in here with our brush. I'm not going to really try to touch any of the red paint, right? Because we don't want to have it go pink in the sky. That's happened before. We don't want to try to do that again. And I don't like them to be dead straight lines of white because it's supposed to be a cloud. And in the very first one that looks so good, we kind of overlapped just a little bit of that cloud. And it was almost like it was coming down at this angle like we like to do right kind of cool just putting a little bit of that white it picked up a little bit of blue which is okay that's okay we're gonna grab our one inch brush nice clean dry soft but kind of firm one inch brush could you do makeup with this brush babe no you couldn't do makeup no. with the brush like that like not it's like, sort of soft not unless you had a giant <laughs> face <laughs> true all right let's mix that up again trying to just grab the white and have that come down and not touch the red because as soon as we touch that little red square it's gonna or that little line that rectangle it's gonna start to change and go pink a little bit of blue just softly as it's transitioning into that white right and the further you go into the blue and come back it's gonna be harder to keep your clouds white right and you can always go back in and add more paint and different stuff and all sorts of stuff and it doesn't have to look exactly like a cloud right or exactly like a flag it's a it's a soft cloudy shape just like that could you, so just, nice and warm. Could you just go over how you prep that canvas please babe? yeah so we put bob ross liquid clear on the canvas and then i covered the canvas with our red stripes in this orientation then came in with our blue and made our square over here and now we're mainly just going to paint with white paint and allow all of our little colors to kind of shine through and appear with whatever they're mixing with down beneath, down below. Very soft, right? If you just kind of dab them on there and don't really wipe them away too hard, you'll retain all these cool little details and soft little bits of our cloud. Right? Very easily. Not really touching that next area of red. Don't really want to come into that too much because again, they're going to start to go pink. And once they go pink, they're never going to come back. Never, ever coming back. So be very careful. Stay away. Little details, little things. Soft, soft little thingies. Super soft. There we go. Back and see our, our paint. As we come over and touch the blue, it goes a little bit blue. You don't want it to start changing your white paint color. We might have to get more white out of the box, actually. And again, as if this is your first time watching a Paint With Josh video and you just barely tuned in, tell us where you're watching from, who you're watching with, what time it is, what's going on over at your house. You guys watching football? You watching Paint With Josh? What are we doing? What are we doing in your guys' house? Scrubbing in a little bit of that white underneath just so we can have another little cloud shape that we can make, right? Leaving areas for little darknesses, little bits of gray that come in and mix in with our cloud. Little soft little things. Soft, soft, soft little things. And as we get back into the blue, don't go back into your white. You don't want to go back in there. 
at least dab the, paint, the brush off or clean it. Don't want to have any bits of blue back into here when we start going back and really mixing it up. And look at that red. It really wants to start dropping down as soon as we touch it. Really wants to come down. Oh, just go get a charger, babe? Yes, babe. Yeah, we use a lot of power around here, don't we, babe? Yeah. We use a lots of power. That looks really, 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 really cool. I like that. It's much... I like it. I like it much. Okay, we're going to come in again. We're, then we're probably going to have to go get some more white paint out of the box because we're running out. You don't realize how much white paint, when you're just painting a cloud white, how much it really takes. Okay, a little bit of that red corner again. going to sneak in, leaving a little bit of black area in between the red and white sections, just like these, where we have these little teeny little bits of darkness in between, right? That makes it not a perfect flag, more of a realistic sort of cloud, you would imagine. All right, I'm gonna come in here. Even where we wiped over our area of blue. Oh yeah, just like that, nice, just like that. Okay, but I don't wanna do too much over here yet. We need to make our, our beams before we really start messing around. Come back in. Start to do this guy, just little teeny tiny circles, keeping it light, not really trying to touch those red stripes there. They're gorgeous, but they're mean. They'll, they'll really start to turn your clouds pink. What's up, Andy honey? Andy Kleiss, thank you so much for sending 200 stars. If you 200 wish, stars, thank you. If you do wish to financially support the channel, you can always send stars on Facebook or super stickers on YouTube. Uh, there is no requirement to financially support the lives, but obviously it really helps. It does. So, uh, yeah. So five dollars to you could mean a big deal to us. What is... that's from a song. What? Okay, look, we took the brush real quick while London's trying to remember the song lyrics. Just like that, we're going to turn it vertical, go like this. Oh my goodness, he sent 200 stars twice. 200 stars twice, thank you. You are the man. I'm trying to make this as straight as possible and thin. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be super thick. Ah. Oh, and you don't want to go all the way to the top with this brush. We're going to extend it. It's the song Mr. Wendell by Arrested Development. Arrested Development. I don't know that one, I guess. Yeah, you do. I do? Yeah. There we yeah, go, just like that. All right, now, I'm gonna take a clean, dry brush, a one inch brush, turn it vertically, just like we had our fan brush, and push very slightly, pull up. I don't really want them to reach the top. And the more you go over it, the more it's gonna to wanna to grow, and the softer it is, so use less pressure. The lyric is, $2 means a snack for me, but it means a big deal to you. That's what happened in my brain. Very soft. That's the lyric. What do you think of these, babe? Are they the right kind of... Uh, they look fantastic. I don't, know, I don't know why you ask me these. Well, I, I, I want your opinion. You give me the most raw... There's 78 people here watching. Clearly, if it wasn't great, they would leave. Please you give me the me. most raw Please opinion, though. Well, yeah, it's because I obviously yeah. don't value our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much of that to laugh at or be true or... <laughs> I don't know, guys. There we go. Just, again, not really trying to bring... Trying to keep at least, if your clouds go red, at least keeping a band of white, right? They can't all be perfectly bright white, but we don't want them to be pink. There we go. Just you like gotta that. be honest. Like, that's the number one thing that I would say is you've got to be honest and you've got to be yourself and, and just not give a what's it about trying to hide or be fake. You've just got to be yourself. Who are we talking about? Just in general. Oh, definitely. Like, you guys like watching Paint with Josh because I'm me, right? If I was a crybaby or a mumble mouth or all the a other, right? Mouth. Right, we all know who I'm talking about. Mumble mouth. <clears throat> um, then you would go watch them, right? Like, there would be no need for me. You guys obviously like me and my style and my ideas and my way of doing things to try to make it easy for you versus those other guys. And that's what I appreciate about you guys. All 4,200 people. We broke 4,200 today. On YouTube. How many on, on YouTube? Facebook, babe? 10,400 almost. 10, 10, 3, 8, 6 what? or something. Great. Like, I never thought. My wildest. I mean, if I'm honest, I never thought either. 
Right, like who knew? I, no one was going to watch me. A painting was going to be like a, a quick little couple months thing and then it would have got out of my system and I would have been terrible at it and I wouldn't want to continue and we used that was it. Fun fact when Joshua paint and I would be the only person that tuned in from, like, <laughs> from the same house, by the way. Yeah, right, watching from the um, living room. He'd like look at me and he's like, is this okay? And I'm like, carry on, babe. Like, keep painting. It's okay. You just keep going. Somebody will join. And then like the number would go to two and then that other person would go away. Yeah. <laughs> like somebody would come in and check it out for like a second. And, and I'm like, leave. keep going, babe. Keep going. A little bit of red, a little bit of white on our brush. That's all. We're going to go very, very, very small amount of paint. Very light because it needs to stay red. If it starts to go too pink, then we got an issue. Right? But we need to put our little ocean horizon back there but yeah when it was just me and you babe it's it was sad i didn't want to keep going well no of course like who wants to keep doing all this extra work for years with nobody watching that doesn't i don't like that yeah it's very disheartening there we go we gotta keep going true very light pressure i don't even barely want to see any amount of waves back here i just want it to be red Right, very light, just letting that white kind of blend in with the red. If it gets too bright, then it's too, it's just not gonna make any sense. They are on it today. Right here, just in that red swipe, right? Just in the swipe, you don't wanna go too far down. Who's on it today? Walgreens. Walgreens so is I, on So I had great trouble filling my prescription. And when I rang, the lady was like, oh, it'll be ready in five days. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work for my mental health. Yeah, I remember that. And so <laughs> now it's there like I still have like five pills left. And they're like, your your prescription is ready to pick up. And I'm like, yeah, because you made me go through a nightmare last time. <laughs> I was like crying nonstop for five days because I couldn't get my prescription filled. My, yeah, an my anti-tearful pills. There we go. <laughs> yeah, my anti-tearful pills. I'm going to bring a little bit more of that red and just change this line just a little bit. There we go. Just more on an angle like that. Right there. All we need is that little bit of different color. So we're bringing a little bit of that pinkish red down into the, the black section. Right? Just so it's on an angle. <clears throat> because we're not painting a true straight flag. Right? And... A seascape has all this movement. All the water has all this movement to it. So, now remember, this is going to be the eye, maybe back in here, as we swipe up and our wave comes crashing down. So, all this black area needs to remain really white to continue our red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white section, right? So, the top of the wave has got to be really white. So, let's clean our brush off or switch to a brush that doesn't have any red or any other color on it. And we'll come up here. Just get a little bit on the brush. It's got a bristle sticking out. That's gonna cause an awkward thing in my wave. Okay, let's decide, shoot. Let's do it over here. So we're gonna start from this red and black lined area right here. We're gonna make our wave shape. It's gonna come up just like that, okay? And then as it goes down, that's going to be its crashing section. So everything back here, we're going to take and drag back to the red, but not losing all of that dark in there as well. All right? See how the paint remains really white when there's no other, there's no other paint underneath yeah, for it to mix with? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. What? He said, just as Bill Alexander passed the brush to Bob, if Bob was still with us, he would have passed the brush to Josh. Hey, thanks. That really, that's, that's really, uh, it's really nice, thank you. Appreciate that. We can take a little bit of white on our knife, just so it's not a big swiping thing. We go up the slightest bit, down, and then over. There we go. Perfect. Now it's not that's not gonna grow too much. Right? And it's not gonna be too bright that it's gonna take away, but it's also gonna give us that seascape feel because there's another little bit of wave coming in there, right? Another little section. That's lovely. That's not the nicest thing anyone's ever said. About the Bob Ross thing? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's put in maybe one more right on top of this line. Because that one's coming back, right? Again, you can add in little things depending on what you want yours to look like. Swipe back some of that 
from the white if you can, just to feed it back just enough, right? Clean off that brush. Don't want to have all that red on there. There we go. Just making it soft, feeding it back, not trying to lose that next dark line. That's our, our next little bit of wave coming back in, right? So hey guys, that guy you make it softer. If you all watch it on YouTube, please hit that thumbs up. It does make a massive difference. I know it may seem like such a menial thing, but it does make a massive difference. A little bit of red, a little bit of white right there. This chair. <laughs> Chair's a death trap. Yeah, we need some WD-40 apparently. All right, we're going to come up here. Just start to pull it out just slightly, just having that little bit of light kind of shining through. Right? It's poking through the wave right in there. And if it needs to be a little bit lighter color, use a little bit more white. Come back. Hey babe, what hat have you got on? Oh my goodness. Oh, I've, I've got the UFO hat on today. I was going to mention that actually. I totally forgot to show you this picture. There we go. I have the UFO hat on. The Dave Mann has one of these. There's been a few sold to California. Very cool. You can get it in all different colors. Yellow, green, all different kind of hats as well. Red hat, uh, black, green hat, all sorts of different colors. You can find them in my Etsy shop. Oh, that's awesome. That yellow hat looks fire. I should have got it in yellow. I didn't, mine, I tried to match the gray with the white and the, you know, the white thing, yeah, but it didn't really work. Yeah. yeah. Super cute. I need to get it in green and yellow now for, for it's serious. It's like gold. It's not really yellow. Yeah, it's it looks beautiful. Gold. It's super it's vibrant. Stunning. Awesome. Okay, a little bit of... A little bit of details. Now we need to decide as our wave starts crashing over, where is it going to land once it comes down into here? You know what I mean? See how it starts changing into that red as we get down here? Very cool. And we're doing it on this, this, you know, should I give him my secret tip? No, babe. Should I tell him the secret? No, babe. No? No, babe. Okay. I won't tell you guys the secret. Aunt Jemima never gave away a secret tip. True. Nor did the Newton. I don't know the if Newton the fans are going to like you. They're like, yeah, tell us the secret. No. <laughs> no, but nobody's commenting that they want to know the secret. I, I guess so nobody wants to know the secret. Don't want so to know the secret. That's fine. Okay, why don't we take just a little bit, just so we can have a small amount of just color back in there. Smallest little thing. You can take it, rub it in with your finger if you want to. Just so it blends out just a little bit. Just so we got a little bit of something back there. Question on YouTube. Josh, in yes. a few short years that you've been painting, how many paintings would you say you've done? Uh, about almost 600. This needs to be whiter over here, actually. Look at the white stripe. We're missing it on this side. I'm going to say you've done more than 600. No, I've, I've done about 600. No, I'm going to say more. I'm going to say more. I'm going to say more. There we go. We need that little bit of darkness back there. We should have done it before, but... No, the, uh, it's not. It's about 570, maybe. I, I should keep track, but I don't. Because, you know, I've got a life. I don't know. <laughs> Um, there is one guy that's like, number 487. Like, come on, dude. You'd think of a name for it. There we go. Now we got our white stripe. Even with the white on the, on the thing, just in that white stripe section, and then have the red go red. That's going to be cool. A multicolored bit of wave, which only worked out that way because of how we did the stripes. Like, it's... You guys are being so is. nice today. Dave Mann said, when I started watching Josh, I was looking for things no one else was painting. UFOs, lightning, yeah. tornadoes, and no one else does those things. Dang right, no one else does them. There we go. That's cool. I like the positioning of this wave versus the others. Now, we could make, we have to make some splash as it's coming into something, but we're going to decide what's down there in, in a minute. We can always do this left side later. Why don't we put up here, just to pop in a couple stars with some liquid white, on the end of your teeniest, tiniest little brush, right? Smallest little thing possible, and we can pop in all sorts of stars. If you know your stars and you want to do little, you know, uh, constellations and stuff, you can. You can uh, hide Julie, them in your painting. Julie Strutt wants to know the secret. Well, that moment is over now, Julie. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, who knows what this constellation is right here? Anybody? I can't see one? it because your dome is in the way. No, I have no idea. It looks like pentagram. It's Orion. But his most of his bow is going to be cut off by this thing. And you can always tell there's like a, almost like he has a little knife sheath. A couple stars down the side of his belt there. And then he's got his big bow and arrow that does all of his hunting with. 
Maybe it came across that side. And there. Just like this. Shooting his bow. Okay, now everything else, you just pop in at random, right? Like this, little teeny tiny dots. Sometimes I don't even touch the canvas. I'm trying to touch it so lightly that I'll go to make like a boop and it doesn't boop and I just you just keep moving. Don't, don't worry about it. If it doesn't want to be there, it's not going to be there. And if you have to push too hard, go get more paint, but the smallest, teeniest, tiniest amount. Karen D'Souza wants to know the secret. Louisa Baldwin wants to know the secret. Mike Sumner wants to know the secret. Victor <clears throat> Farina wants to know the secret. Well, uh, you guys are going to have to go pay for my channel then, like uh, Kevin Hill. Huh. Like, oh, I'll, I'll paint half the video for you, and then you'll have to pay for the other half, right? Mark Anderson says, what Orion's a belt is a waste of space. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's a good one. That's the best comment of the night so far. Sam or the day. 200 stars. Well, Thank well, oh, you guys wanted to know the secret. <clears throat> okay, I'll tell you the secret. Because I'm the painter that tells you all the stuff that the other painters you're like, keep for themselves. Like? You're I'm like, like the that, magician. Yeah, I'm the masked painter. I tell you all the stuff that everyone else keeps for themselves. As soon as they figure it out and they're like, holy crap, that's how you do that? Sweet. I'm not telling anyone because then I'll be the only one that knows, right? Photographic yeah. memories. That's how you do the secret. That's the secret. You have to have a photographic <laughs> memory. Uh, the secret to a perfect wave is this S that's in here, right? You have this S shape. And if your S shape is incorrect, then your wave's gonna look off, right? So kind of extend, elongate your S and go like this. And that's gonna be your, almost like a yin and yang. You got your, you know, your light side, your dark side, whatever. That little cut right through, that's the angle of a perfect wave, okay? And in my opinion, this is a perfect, perfect wave. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of our black, a little bit of that red, crimson, Creepy. blue, all the colors, right? Besides Creepy. the white, huh? Grapey. Great, we're making London's grapey color. Are you giving hints towards the the uh, voiceover video about what you might call this mixture? No. Oh, okay. Grapey paint with a triangular brush? No. <laughs> with a triangular no. brush. Hey guys, that's a clue. This is a triangular brush when she's talking about it in the voiceover video. That's the only clue I'm going to give you, though. Oh, that's wicked. I can give you loads of clues. <laughs> London knows all the clues. Message her. You have like 4,000 messages. Right, don't message me. Okay. I don't know what the clues are. I've only put the color onto this one side, so when we flip it over, it's onto this one side. You guys see? Nothing over here. You can touch it. There's nothing on that. Because I only want to use this corner when I'm pushing into the canvas, okay? Very lightly, we're going to come up and pop in. Not going to cover up all of our shadows, right? Or all the deep darkness at the bottom. Now look, we've made an S. Right? Can you see it? Can you see it? A little bit thicker of our shadow. The more, you know, dark splash that you kind of put down, the more cool little things you're going to have for your shadows and stuff. Dave Men says you do have splash. the best waves of anyone I've seen. I do. Seen. Thank you, Dave. You know what's funny? I did a wave. Uh, and, I, and, you know, I do waves every weekend. Now, all of a sudden, who do I see on my Facebook feed doing waves? Try baby boy. <clears throat> hey. What? You've got to not refer to him like that. Sorry. Sorry. Ungrateful. That's what I'll call him. I'll call maybe, him ungrateful. Maybe because we, maybe with we, that many subs, I would be so grateful. Uh, the date is September 11th. Okay. In nine days, we'll start crying about rent. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. When it gets down to the end of the month, if we don't have enough sales, then we ask for rent. <laughs> Help us, please. It's hard to sell art. I get it. It's hard. Oh, speaking of which, should we show? You guys have probably already seen. If you haven't seen, go to my Facebook page. The practice version that we did is also available for sale. It's going to be a little bit cheaper than this one because it was the practice one. And uh, this one's turning out to be my favorite out of the two. So go to the store. You can buy that one, the original hard, the original hard canvas that we painted last night versus this one. <laughs> Gina says, who is, who is Mumble Mouth? <laughs> The, the, the one who has the most subscribers out of all of us, like, you know, if you added up all of us together, it wouldn't equal KH. He's got a billion, like, I mean, the last time I looked was years ago, and it was like 600,000 subscribers or some crazy number. Oh, you know what I would do with 600,000 subs? My goodness. Okay, let's take a little bit of our liquid white. 
come in here to our white and it's got a little bit of red in it. I like that, that it's a little pink. Why don't we steal just a touch, a little bit more? No, see, that's it's too much. We're gonna have to go back and get some white. It's too pinky. Yeah, that red really gets red. There we go. Just on the one side of the one corner, just like we did with the other one, I'm gonna come in here and go above our splash, above our shadow about halfway, right? Just start popping it in like we were making grass. That's all grass. it is. Yeah, we're making grass. Yeah, that's all we're doing. Bounce the thing around. Look at all these different angles. That's not just happening. I'm turning the brush like this, turning it as I'm popping in. We're rotating, grass twisting it. We're grassing this wave. I'm telling you, that's the same shape that I just made grass with in that commission painting. It'd be funny if you described your paintings like food. <laughs> yes, London has... I mean, you're giving away lots of clues. I'm not giving away any clues. There we go. Just, just the bottom me. bit. Let it mix in with that dark color. Creates the gray. Just, just the people, bottom. I just want people to tune in and watch. Yeah, London's video is hilariously funny. It's because London is hilarious. London is hilarious. Go to TikTok. You'll find her. Just the bottom bits, right? <laughs> Leaving that little thing. We could even come back in. Pop in just a, maybe a couple that were... Just the head of the game coming down, right? I love popping in just a few little, little bits of water as they were coming down like that. Oh, look at that wave. Look at that wave. I surprise myself. I surprise myself. Coming up here just on the edge again, just to make this bit a little bit sloppy as it starts to fall over. And then we can fine line it into the edge of the wave like that. Very so cool. remember, guys. If you are interested in painting a wave like Paint with Josh, uh, Again, elongated S, -shape. S Look at and the S. grass. Done. Right, and grass. Make your grass shape. Come dab in. Just straight on dabs, right? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Dab, 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 Make dab. your shape work for you, right? If this doesn't work, find out a thing that works where it looks like it, you want it to look. You know what I mean? Dabby, 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 swipey, swipey, blendy, blendy. All these things are coming out in London's video. Blendy, blendy, blendy. It's because London has no art <clears throat> talent whatsoever. Remember, triangular brush. What, what other brushes did you say? House you brush? Me? The house brush, right? It's a house brush. Or small house brush, I would imagine you called that one. Maybe. No, that's the, that's what, the when you're... When what did you use this? What was this as term? Uh, I think that's just a palette knife. Oh, okay. And then what about a little teeny tiny brush? An eyeliner brush. Eyeliner. So instead of a script liner, it's an eyeliner. Yeah. I that's got it. you. That's the only you guys thing. better be taking notes because we're giving away a hundred dollar gift card to the person who can paint London's voiceover painting as closely as possible to the color and painting that she is voicing over, which you won't be able to see. It's nice and dark. You can't see it. He <laughs> he Hey guys, if you're all watching on YouTube, uh and if, we're giving away a canvas print. Sorry, if you're watching on YouTube. If you could hit that thumbs up button, uh, share it to your neighbor, your grandma, whoever, that would be amazing. Uh, same thing on Facebook, send it to your feed. There we go. Uh, and, and, your, and all the groups you're in, your feed yeah. and all the groups. Tag it in a message, send it to somebody. Um, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, post it in the group, be like, I did this with Paint With Josh, or check out Paint With Josh's new tribute video, or whatever. Mm. I think that was my paint thinner. That would have been instant death. Instant death? I don't think it would be instant death. Oh, I, I, it, I don't know. My insides aren't, you know, 100%. It might be instant death. There we go. Coming in with our little white line, making it wiggly. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. You don't want it to be straight. At least I don't. Drink paint thinner. It immediately induce vomiting. That's what the, the MSDS says. Poison control. Yeah. Call the professionals. Like how we're going to come backwards, backwards, backwards. Let it roll out. Now we have this big, crazy face to the wave. All right, as we come back here, maybe they don't go so far back before they start coming down and, and catching up, right? Over here, maybe it's not so crazy. And you can see there's not a lot of paint left in my brush. Very cool. Starting to come straighter and straighter and straighter. 
and straighter, almost lining back up to that same point, right? And then we can decide where we want our, our bits of water line and all sorts of stuff. Hashtag fun fact, don't drink paint thinner. Yeah, <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah, don't do it. What happens when you do? Uh, Robert Sobzak says, I guess I don't know how it works. Why does it matter how many subscribers you have? Why would that matter? Oh, you just end up in for the YouTube creator fund, right? YouTube pays us. If you do very well on a video, it, uh, advertisers want to have their commercial be the first thing you see before you watch that video, right? And so the advertisers will pay YouTube to put their ad on top of my video, say, right? And That's, that costs that uh, uh, advertiser money. They pay YouTube to put these ads out onto all these little videos, however many they pay for, right? Whoever's video it shows up on and the more people that watch that video, the more money that person makes from YouTube's cut of, you know, the advertiser. So the more subscribers you have, the more people are going to be watching, the more eyes advertisers are advertising to, right? If you get a million people... You're going to be making a ton of money because advertisers want, you know, Charmin wants one million more people to buy their paper towels. Or this, you know, Geico wants one million more people to, to look at their ad on your page. And so having a ton of subscribers helps that YouTube creator make more money, right? Off doing, creating videos for their fans. For free. For free. Well, some people do it for free. I do a lot of videos. Of course, Robert. Any questions that you have as to how Josh makes money from YouTube or Facebook, feel free to ask. Because yeah, we're totally people, transparent. Yeah, a lot of people uh, on the platforms don't understand how it works, and therefore they think that their thumbs up or their likes or their emojis don't help and things like that. Right, yeah. This, um, and it makes a massive difference. It's crazy. But we did the math the other day, and with about... Uh, if we could get Josh to about 75,000 subscribers on YouTube, Josh could quit his full-time job. Yeah, I could come in here and paint all the time with you guys, right? Because I'd be making four or $5,000 a month with that amount of subscribers. Just off of people watching the videos. That's all they pay attention to. Who's watching it and for how long? So the longer you watch Want to Paint with Josh's videos, the more I'm going to make off of that advertising from whichever commercial you just saw, right? And then when you get to that sort of level, that's one of the reasons why we don't understand why a certain individual with that many subscribers isn't doing more things. Yeah, because right. with 75,000 subscribers, you have what's called pulling power. We can call Michaels yeah, and say, seriously. would you sponsor our video? We have 75,000 YouTube subscribers. We'd like to use this new oil paint line that we know you guys are carrying. Or Hobby Lobby, or, you know, get a feature on something, or get, you know, another YouTube creator in here to, to paint with Josh. Yeah, we or, can go travel to paint with, uh, you know, whoever else in a different... We could buy a school bus and throw paint at the side of it, and I could just send Josh off on his journeys. It would be great. Like, you're not understanding how great it would be... For me to just put Josh in a school bus and send him across the country. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Just adding a little bit of white on our knife to create our little foamy action. Right? We have to have our white stripe down here. That's why we're putting so much white. I don't want it to be red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, pink. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be anyway because we're mixing in with all that red. Camille says, what time is it for you guys? It's 6.39 here in the UK. It is 10.44 now. But 10 at 44 in the 10 morning. 39. <laughs> 10 44 in the morning. There we go. Very cool. I didn't want to go too much into this because I don't want to change the face of the wave too much, right? And that's the other thing as well. If uh, if you guys want to financially support but you can't, the other option that you can do is go onto YouTube and hit playlist and watch the videos in the background while you're asleep, uh, however it is, and based on the minutes watched, um, Josh can make money off that too. So, True. Um, 
yeah, there's there's a ton of different ways to support the channel outside of the Super Squad or yeah, it's not all about paying. Facebook. Paying helps, yeah, and then you know it's about sharing and all the things London talks about. Sharing is caring. Yeah, that's a very cool looking wave. I started to feel iffy about it for a second, but very cool. <laughs> Camille was wondering what time it was because of the Red Bull. Oh yeah, ten in the morning. I gotta have it first thing. There we go. Look at that little dark line and how it just changes it. Just lifts all that foam. Has it raise up there. It's now got some some thickness to it. The thickness, babe. Should we, and we're, not, we're not even going to add a rock. That is gorgeous. Yeah, no, I like this one better than the first one. Than, the, than this one. The, the, the Memorial Day one. The most famous one. This is going to be a really good video. I hope it's in focus. I really hope it's in focus. It looks like it's in focus. I would have got up All right, let's that back it out, guys. That's a great... I mean, look at that first one off to the left, right? Our Memorial Day painting that's over here. And then we had, you know, the one up on the easel today. Fantastic. I'm going to have to throw the signature on this guy. I don't know if the Facebook people, can they see both? Maybe. I did. You can never know when the... what it's actually taking in the frame. But man, this was a great video, you guys. I'm happy we did the full minute of silence. That's yeah. very respectful. Rather than your moment. Yeah, well, I mean, on the Memorial Day one, you never know with a live, hello, with a live video, um, who's going to be tuning in right at that one moment. And if I miss a couple people because of a moment of silence, I miss a couple people. That's what it is. I always like to be painting when you guys turn the camera on or come into the video, but a lot of times we got to show the respect too. So, let's we, see. We will have a minute of silence for the Queen next Sunday. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. My be... goodness, that is a just a... It'll be a bit more well planned now. <laughs> Where should we put the signature though? In the Deja wave or Farino, over here? happy birthday to your daughter. Hey, happy uh, birthday. What's her name? Yeah, we don't know her name. But once we get the name, we will wish her happy birthday. And maybe she doesn't want to say the name of her kid online. That's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. So we, happy birthday. We wish you happiest uh, we of wish birthdays. your daughter happy birthday. Man, this one came out great, babe. Look at this wave. Long Spock says, I'm in love with this. Thank you, Josh. Thank um, you. And okay. remember, guys, don't cover up too much of your black, right? We saved that black line, and it just so happened to shift all of our lines down a little bit. But that blackness is what makes it cool. That black stretch in there. <laughs> Woo! Okay, go ahead. Sorry, this is one of my favorite paintings of all time. And this is why I almost didn't want to paint the practice one, in case the magic slipped out. And it wasn't on video, but I have a, a, I'm going to have a zoomed in video of the practice painting for the members only. So if you want to see that nice and up close, zooming in every time I come in and touch the camera comes in, you know what I mean? Or it's a full screen, full canvas. So you can see nice and up close what we do. Uh, you can join the membership. It's youtube.com slash paint with Josh slash join. And it's $7.99 a month. There's going to be 19 or 20 videos now that you can learn from. This almost looks like a mouth. You see that? Like little bits of like teeth on the top and maybe teeth on the bottom, sort of. Anyone else see that? It's like, ah, ah. But uh, yeah, it's got like 18 or 19 or 20 in-depth videos. Super up close. Just me up here painting with you and teaching you how to paint, right? Take you from a painting zero to a... Oh, wait a minute. Dude, dude you're just going to say Hang on. painting zero. No, wait, wait. No, from a level zero to a painting hero. Oh, my That's goodness. the tag. Oh my From goodness. a level zero to a painting hero. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's fire. You know it's fire. Yeah, okay. Now watch someone else steal that from me. Hey guys, come take my class from a level zero to a painting hero. <laughs> and decide what we do. All right, look, I'm not going to crap on anybody Stop today. Stop it. It's a good day. Stop it. It's a great painting. I'm not going to I'm not gonna hurt anyone's feelings. That's it. Stop it. So I really can't wait to see your guys' version of this, though. It's slightly different from the other one. I feel the clouds are slightly thicker. We did less red paint. Uh, you want to have your red on before your blue so you can have that nice crisp line. Otherwise, the red will drag over in between. And then you have and it just purple. Looks, neat. It looks very neat. And then you have crazy so colors. Cool. All that foam. Yeah. Triangular brushes. Yeah. <laughs> Triangular grapey brush colors. Let's wash this off. Let me show you the other one. Because both of these are available for sale, which is a better, maybe on this side is better. Both of these are available for sale. One's the practice, one's the one we just did, obviously. And they're both fantastic paintings. Uh, both come, they'll be signed on the back. Look, just like that. Be signed on the back. This one even says 9-11-2022 practice painting on it. 
So it's a little less than the than the, you know this one's going to be because I like the wave in this one a little bit more. But this is a fantastic one as well, and this is the one you're going to learn on YouTube in the membership class. So if you're a part of the Super Squad on YouTube by signing up paintwithjosh dot uh, sorry YouTube dot com slash paintwithjosh slash join, you'll become part of the Super Squad and you'll get to learn how to paint that super up close. And uh, it might be a little bit better. It's going to be better quality. It's going to be in 1080 HD versus. 720 if we can get our best quality out of streaming uh, so it'll be a little bit crisper and just it's an incentive to go join the super squad right so fantastic Love what do you think babe i think it's fantastic you can also um i'm wondering if the line should go to the top like on that one yeah see i had thought about that and i the reason i didn't is because i don't like that i didn't like i did i wish they wouldn't have gone all the way you know what i mean in the photo that i saw uh, as sort of the reference for the beams the beams didn't shoot all the way to the top of the thing because the light's not strong enough. And I really like these ones versus that. I wanted them to be a bit thinner and to not all the way, go all the way to the top. It's very cool. Very cool. God. Whew. Woo! Okay, let's clean these brushes off. Man, I just get into my own head sometimes. So again, this painting will be available for sale. As well with along the other one and all these ones on the wall, they're all available for sale. And if you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com, you'll find all of these paintings. Did we clean this brush? No, it looks like it's got the tiniest little bit of like cloud residue on it or some sort of something. So right after the show, what's it usually take? Like 20 minutes, babe, for me to come down after we end the show? Yeah. And I usually, I sit up here because if I go downstairs, I'll forget something. I won't, I won't list it on Etsy or I won't post it to Facebook or I won't do something. So I sit up here for like 20 or 30 minutes after the show, typing away, taking the picture, doing all the stuff, getting it out. And then, uh, you know, hopefully you guys will buy it. One yet, hopefully. That's the goal. So... That's the so, goal of any artist, right? Is to sell their art. So the one painted during the live today, a thousand dollars. Yeah. And then the practice painting, five hundred. Yeah, I love London is the best business manager, but I, I don't think you guys would like her because the prices are would be so gigantic. But no, it's 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 it. I do the same thing. Like I get it in my head. This is the best wave I've ever done. It's so neat. I stopped at the perfect time. I didn't add too much. I didn't change too much of the color. And now. I either want to keep it or I want you guys to just pay just hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of bills, right? And then like a week goes by and nobody buys it and I go, man, I really shouldn't have got all up in my ego about that, right? Like it's, it's the same size as all the other ones in my, not all the other ones, but the majority of the other ones in my store. It just tells me to stand. Oh, it says I did. I did. I did it. Yeah. I did my stand goal. Woo! But, uh, oh, I hate you watch you broke my concentration what was i saying deciding on the price of painting yeah so you know and a lot of times I'll, I'll i'll check my ego back and go okay it's really good but even i wouldn't have paid that much for it so you know but yeah the, the more popular we get the better they get the, the more the price goes up i used to sell them for 30 bucks and i would just buy two more canvases and maybe like another brush and then i'd sell another one for 30 bucks and i'd buy two more canvases and so i'd always be able to to replace the one canvas I gave away and, or sold and then buy two more so I could keep painting. So it's the same now, just on a bigger scale. We charge more for the paintings. We end up buying more canvases. We're doing all these free videos and uh, you know all the membership videos and all the stuff, all the live shows. You so know, you, you know, know what I think gotta pay for that somehow. I What's think up? you should make dinner and you should film it for the members only. Oh, do another Cook with Josh video? Yes. What are we making? I don't know. Can we if make it, McDonald's? If it's, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's make it. I'll, I'll just take the bun off and be like, here's the cheese. Now we're going to put the bun back on and it's serve it. Here we go. Put a little bit of ketchup drizzle on the plate or something. <laughs> like Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay style. So, again, I can't wait to see your guys' version of this painting. It really turned out great. I am super proud of it. I'm super proud of the shape of the wave. About how. I'm about. I'm, a, I'm proud about how I stopped myself from going overboard. Yeah, me too. I'm grateful there's not a tree in there. <laughs> Let's put a big old whacking tree right here. The, uh, I want to almost do this painting in blue and white for the police, you know what I mean? And have, you know, all the red swipes be blue swipes. I think that would look really Aww. cool. Or just do Christine black with one blue like Dave Mann did. Christine just 
Christine Flack just sent 310 stars and hey. said, for the painting hero. Thank you. I can turn you into a painting hero too. I'm a level zero to a painting hero, right? That's all I did. I learn by doing stuff and seeing if it works. And I go, man, next week, I'm not going to do that again. I look like, in my head, I, I look like not, a fool in front of I'm everybody. I'm not going to paint an elephant next time. <laughs> or yeah, I try to do something and London goes, uh, no, that does not look yeah, like don't do that, what right? you're trying to get it to look it like. Sounds awful, don't do that. <laughs> so, well, you know, I, we appreciate you guys. Josh, we really Josh do. said to me once, he said, babe, maybe I should do this. Like, do you like the safari? And I was like, have you ever seen an elephant before? Like, have you actually ever seen an elephant before? It, it had a little funky shape to its it head. Was like it was the first elephant I ever did. It was like a rhino, an elephant, and a T-Rex. Oh, a baby. man. It yeah, was bad. and then that thing, that weird creation, also had a smaller baby. Right. Where there was it, uh, they both. This is why I don't paint animals. So you guys yes. are like, hey, can you paint my dog? Like, I, no. I really can't. I don't want to try, because it's just gonna come out like that. And London's gonna just, for years, tell me what it didn't look like. I'll be like, babe, have you seen a dog? <laughs> I know we have three dogs, but we have, have you dogs. actually seen a dog? We have, and I have seen dogs. It's, I have. It's bad. You know what the best part about this painting is? You only use five colors. That's it. But you gotta use the crimson Wait, and the red, is otherwise the it's gonna be different. Somewhere? Or did the elephant oh no, he got trash. trash. You threw the elephant. Yeah, away? you made so much. You Hold ridiculed on. him so Hold badly on. that he was like, "I have to just jump into the Hold trash." On. So what you're trying to tell me is that somewhere in the world, in a dump, yeah, there's, there's this... a small canvas yes. with something, and somebody is staring at it there. right now, going, "What is this? Do going, you know what this who, is? whose kid what made is this? this? What is this?" <laughs> Have you seen going, an animal that looks like this? They're going, whose who's child painted this exotic, weird, alien-looking thing? Because it doesn't look like anything on Earth. Babe. And it doesn't look like a grown-up did it. Then they're looking at it, and they're like, oh, look, he was just kidding. <laughs> That's why it says I don't even JK. think I signed it. That's why it says JK in the bottom left. Yeah, he they was were just, just joking. Kidding. This, that's no, that's no the real. best practical joke of all not time real. right there. Just kidding. That's the best joke of all. <laughs> this one came out so good. So Just good. kidding. Just kidding, guys. There are 20 of you watching on YouTube. If you could, you there's only 14 try. likes. If you could hit that, six oh, of you. Oh, definitely. Make sure you hit that, that thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs up please, button. Please, please, please. <laughs> the more, it, it, it literally translates to the more likes that are on a YouTube video, the more views it has. Because every time you guys like it, it sends it out to someone else. And then they might like it. It sends it out to someone else. And they might like it. It starts casting a wider and wider and wider net. Right? Like the... The Memorial Day video has got like 150 likes, it's got 2,100 views, right? Some other videos have 40 likes and only have 300 views. So it's, there's a definite correlation between the amount of likes on a video and how many views it's getting. So like it on YouTube, guys, like it. Just, all you gotta do is click that little button. It looks like this, push it. You like wanna it. I wanna say thank you very much. We raised 1,400 stars Woo, today. Thank you guys, man, thank that's, you for I, that's love. I love yeah. you guys, we thank love you. Thank you so much. Look at all this, um, love it. see that? It looks like a mistake. I love it. Jackie it Carter says, came in late. Oops, I will go back and watch again. Thank you, Thank you. Josh. Um, it does make a huge difference as well. If you guys could watch the video when it's posted uh, and leave a comment and tell the world that it's great. Or tell us that it's great. <laughs> but that's, that's the thing too. Like when you guys are commenting on YouTube in the live chat, I can't respond to that. We can't go back when the video's over and respond to all those comments. So when you watch the video again or when you watch the video to try to paint it, Leave a comment. Leave 10 comments. Leave a thousand comments. Leave a comment every second, right? The more comments, the more net it's going to cast. The wider and wider and wider. We're going to grab the whole world. We're going to bring them into the studio, right? Be fantastic. fantastic. We need a bigger room. We will need a bigger room. If we get like 10 people in this room, it'd be way too hot. <laughs> uh, we will be coming up with probably some late, uh, some late news at some point. Uh, there is a TikTok creator that paints. And we're going to try and set up a little painting duo uh, at some point film that get that on camera that would be cool um and so we will uh, uh really we cool. will get that going as well <laughs> uh but do you want to thank you obviously uh 9 11 was a time that you know we will never forget even though i'm british uh i can tell you where i was on 9 11 i can tell you how you were here weren't you i was yeah she was in vegas i was there. everybody knows where they were because it's it was so like <gasps> And it I, just burns it into your skull. I think what's funny is not to give anybody um, uh, crap when they say that they laughed when 9-11 happened. 
because it was out of nervousness yeah, I, and a lot of people didn't understand what was happening. I, I for one, thought it was a movie. I didn't actually think that it was really on the news. I thought it was just a movie that was on the television right. because at those, in those days we didn't have on demand. So when we turned on the television, uh, I was like, oh, that's super something. cool. And my dad's like, what do you... <laughs> Yeah, right. What do you mean that's cool? This is the news. And I was like, no, it's like, you know, a Spider-Man movie or something. Like, right. King Kong's going to come in and save yeah. the day. Like, Smash one of the planes out of the sky. So please just remember that not everybody understood the shock and what was happening at that time. So if you hear things today, especially while you're traveling around social media and you see comments on Facebook or you see things on TikTok or other YouTubers, um, you know, please don't write them off immediately because they... They didn't know how to uh, how to express what was happening because they really didn't know what was happening. It's the first time that we've ever seen it. Yeah, I mean, and it's um, the same. I was I was a witness to a motorcycle accident. I was riding with the guy. He went down. It was really scary. And when I got to the hospital, some of the other guys had shown up, and one guy was laughing and joking about it. And that's how he was dealing with it. And I got up in his face and I almost left. Like, but it, it, like, to me, it wasn't funny. But that's how he was dealing with. The shock of what was or what had happened to one of his friends you know what i mean it's yep. like i also want to tell you guys the same different. thing that i tell my followers all the time please drink water please take medications there's no shame in the medicine game uh please make sure that you are uh you are on it take care of your mental health um and maybe i don't know maybe at some point we can all just get along um so thank you for coming here and hanging out with us regardless of what you think of 9 11 regardless of what happened yeah, or if you're mind. not an american citizen too. yeah even if you're not american uh the the understanding yeah. will be the same as the queen passing away having dis disagreements and coming up with conspiracies is really not today you have 364 other days <laughs> right. to talk about conspiracies 9 11 isn't one of the days that you should do that yeah just show some respect that's yep, all. that's it. 2,700 people okay. lost their lives regardless, so thank you so much, and countless families suffered. Uh, I was actually watching a show on Hulu last night uh, that said that many people never actually got closure for 9-11 because their loved ones were never found. Yeah, right. So, uh, please, nobody to... please keep that in mind as well. We don't really know what that, what that toll could possibly be. Right. Or how um, it affected those people, too. It's yeah, just terrible. Yeah, absolutely. No idea to not recover your loved one. Um, so please, as you go about today, please just have kindness as you go out into the world and remember that you may bump into somebody who lost someone in 9-11 and... It could be a really bad day for them. They're struggling with something today and... Right. You know. So be nice, you boners. <laughs> you boners. Be nice. That's what people. we just call people? Yeah. Here's Josh, <laughs> willing to get to 75,000 <laughs> while calling his followers boners. You gotta be nice, people. All right. You do. Well, nice. until we see you guys again next time, uh, this has been a great painting. It's been a whole lot of fun. I can't wait to see your version. We do put out videos on Wednesday. That video this week is going to be London's voiceover video. We're giving away a $100 gift card to the person who paints it closest to the original painting. Uh, and we're giving away a, cam uh, a poster print to the person who paints the worst painting or yes. draws the worst painting, right? Yeah. Drawing markers. You can use paint. makeup. You can use oil doesn't paint. Doesn't even matter. Acrylic. Whatever the medium. It does not matter. Just listen yeah. to my voice. It's really, listen to London and it's really not that soothing. And try and to make a landscape. <laughs> try and understand. <laughs> and the winner a, will win a hundred dollar gift card and uh, to the Paint with Josh store, by the way. And um, the loser will get a canvas print or a poster print of the actual painting that they were supposed to paint, not the painting that they painted or drew, or colored, or whatever. So, but uh, yeah, Wednesdays, we do Friday night freestyles where we go live on a Friday night and make up some sort of crazy space landscape or a Halloween scape from last time. Uh, it's something mostly on a dark canvas we like doing those Friday night freestyles. So if you like black canvases, Friday nights are for you. And, um, and then we got Sunday seascapes next week. So until we see you guys again next time, Remember, Fridays, Sundays, Wednesdays, plus Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and whatever other day else, Saturdays we miss, right? That's when you should be re-watching all the little videos. But until we see you guys again next time, either Friday, Sunday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, or Saturday, Thursday, or five seconds from now when you restart this video and watch it again and try to paint it. We can't wait to see it. Uh, you guys take care. Have the rest of a good day. And boom! Get him out of here, babe. No, I'm not getting him out of here. Oh, we have questions. Uh, oh, questions. Um, what? You <laughs> can't do the end of the show and then the, the, the exit and have questions. Go back and rewrite your question. I'll have to answer it via text. What's no, the question? No, so just a little bit on the uh, contest. How long does the contest go for, babe? Uh, London said two weeks, I think. 
right? I think I said 30 days, but it's okay. We'll go with two yeah, weeks. Yeah, two weeks. I okay. we'll, we'll forget. Uh, two weeks. Also, two weeks. I want to let you guys know that on uh, Friday, the 30th of September, will be when the coffin lid painting is done live during the show. Oh, so like the... Like going so, into going into October, Halloween that will be our stuff. last painting of September, which will be the coffin lid. So if you're interested oh, yeah. in seeing something creepy, you can that join in for the fun. coffin lid painting on September 30th. Uh, that that's about it. I don't really have anything else. So the video comes out Wednesday. Again, if you find my voice annoying, please watch something else. Don't watch the video and just be annoyed. It's <laughs> a waste of your life. I uh, want to say thank you for the 100 stars that just came through. That thank I you, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's like 1,500 stars today. You guys are yeah, killing it on Facebook. Thank you for Holland that. Clever sent 100 stars. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, you guys are fantastic. My favorite fans. And also remember that on 9-11, it wasn't stars. just the towers. It was uh, it was fear of aviation, period, oh, yeah. across the country. And there was uh, uh, those... The only know, time in the United Pentagon, States history Boston. where where ground travel was actually entirely closed. The skies right. were closed above America. Yeah, that's um, crazy. So there are many other things that you can turn to to educate, research. There's obviously a lot of I love watching on History TV. Channel on 9-11. On like, they just, they got everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, you don't even have to search. It's just put on History Channel on September 11th, and it is all 9-11 shows. But remember, try Very not to cool. get bogged down by the rubbish that you see on TikTok or YouTube. Not this rubbish. This rubbish is good rubbish. The other rubbish <laughs> that you see on YouTube or Facebook where people were... Uh, People have an issue. Uh, Glenn, right. it does not matter whether you use a white canvas or a black canvas. It's totally up to you. I think I say that it's a white canvas in the voiceover video. You just have to watch so, it multiple times, I guess. You, or you listen can to do it. it on whatever you like, even if you don't do it on a canvas. You do it on a piece of paper. It doesn't matter. You don't need expensive materials. You can do it with eyeshadow for all I care. I just want to see you guys be creative <laughs> uh, based on the sound of my voice. So I'm going to get you out of here now. Thank you so much for 120 okay. stars. Tell them, Woo! tell them to get out of here, babe. Oh, now? Yeah, now, now I can do my exit? You should have waited for me to tell you that it was time to end the show. I don't know why you think this is I, being a Yeah, this is my show. No. I end when I want to end it. No. Okay, so until we see you guys again Friday, Wednesday, Sunday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday, or five seconds from now when you restart the video, go to watch it, go to paint it, and send in your version. Can't wait to see it. You guys take care. Have the rest of a good day. Bye from London. Cameron's on this side of the phone. That's fine. Ah, there we go. Was there. And then, ba boom! Get him out of here, babe. We're done. Go watch some History Channel today. Woo!